So uh, if you noticed in the webinar uh, video, which I believe you all have access to, um, there was a video of the prototype actually uh, operating and showing that how when it uh, uh, got near an obstacle, it would trigger a system that would uh, move a mechanism that would actually shift us from forward into reverse. So what we need with that pin is we need uh, three centimeters of motion to enable us to trigger the system to move from uh, forward to reverse um, with the required 50 newtons of force. So that pin can really be located anywhere on the rover, right? So, and in any orientation on the rover as well, that's easy for your obstacle avoidance system to hit. You can even have multiple pins if that's helpful to trigger. Um, and then to trigger that pin, uh, you basically just need to make sure you're applying 50 newtons of force during the entire stroke. That could either be pushing it in or you could be pulling that pin out or there's multiple different ways that you could actuate that pin. Um, and really it can be in whatever orientation works best for your design. However, we do need a mechanical motion to be able to translate that three centimeter motion over to our uh, planetary reversing gearbox to now allow us to have the rover reverse when an obstacle or dangerous condition is detected.